Family is such a small word with such broad meaning. When I think of the word family, I'm reminded of a quote that I came across a few years ago. Someone once said that fam the bond of family is not one of blood, but of respect and joy in each other's lives. Now a single dif dictionary definition of family will give you a very basic and traditional de definition of what family is. It'll say that family is a social unit consisting of parents and their children, or it is a, is a group of people closely related by blood. For people like me, this cookie cutter definition fails in comparison to what I think constitutes as a family. In 2011, a Pew, a Pew Research article by Gretchen Livingston stated that 7.7 .7 million children, that's one in every 10, were living with grandparents, and approximately 3 million of those children were also cared for primarily by that grandparent. I can relate to this because my brother, my sister, and me were, both, were all raised by my grandmother and, and one of my uncles. My parents were in and out of my life, and I've learned a lot from the experiences that I've had with them. And it's changed the way that I view family because life is full of many obstacles, good and bad and your family are the ones that will be there for you through all of it. For me, family tends to take on several different meanings and impact my life in many different ways. I have friends that I consider family over people that are actually family when I got pregnant for the first time in 2009, I was at the hospital for over 24 hours waiting to have my baby. The waiting room was filled with lots of people. The people that really mattered to me were there. I had friends, I had family, but those same friends have been there for me since high school, since I was probably 16 years old. I've had these friends in my life and my children call them aunts and uncles and they think that their children are their cousins and to me that's important because I want to surround my children with the people that love them and love to spend time with them and will always be there for them. In a Live Strong article by Lori Ravel, updated in 2014, Ravel, Ravel discusses four important characteristics of a good family. Included in these are communication, commitment, spending quality time together, and respecting each other. Family are the people that you share your moments with, the good and the bad. For me, I've had several good moments and several bad moments. And while my family, my true family, has been there through most of it, I've also had these friends that have been there through everything. And to me, that's what's important in building a strong family. We surround ourselves with the people that will make positive impacts on our lives. Life is too short to surround yourself with negativity and people who continue to disappoint you. At 28 years old and with children of my own, my parents still have a way of disappointing me, which is why I continue to keep myself distance from them. However, I do allow them the chance to be a part of my children's lives because I believe it is important for them to have a chance to form their own opinion of their grandparents based on their own experiences. 
For me, there is so much more to family than just shared DNA. My family is made up of relatives as well as close friends. I surround my children with people who love them and will be there for them through all the trials of their lives.